Well, Kate, sounds like tomorrow is the kind of day that you'd want to hit the trails or even just walk outside and soak up some sun in your neighborhood. Absolutely. I bet the trail is going to be packed tomorrow. So make sure to keep all the distance and all that good stuff, but get outside if you can. Again, like Jessica said, whether it's on one of our local trails, whether in Philadelphia, South Jersey, the Lehigh Valley, Forbidden Drive, Wissahickon Park, maybe the Chester Valley Trail, perfect day for it. Valley Forge Park is a good one. Penny Pack Park. Get outside and enjoy tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful day. Temperatures in the 50s. Lots of sunshine and a big rebound from today. 34 degrees right now in Philadelphia. You can see it is a cold night thanks to temperatures really not going very far today. And we're in the 20s right now in Allentown and Mount Pocono. 29 in Mount Holly. It's only 24 in Millville. Temperatures are noticeably colder than they were at this time last night, especially across South Jersey as that cold air was just beginning to flood in at this time last night. And right now it's 15 degrees colder than at this time yesterday in Millville, but it's not as windy and it's going to feel a whole lot better tomorrow. Storm Scan 3 has really not much to show us. There's some snow here over portions of eastern Canada and upstate New York. Get used to that because we're not going to be seeing much on Storm Scan 3 at all for the foreseeable future. February really came in like a lion this time around. March is coming in on that little lamb. Hooves. It's going to be very, very tranquil for at least the next week or so, and it may last even into the middle of next week, this quiet pattern. So again, lots of sunshine in our future. This lasts at least into early next week. Temperatures are a little bit up and down, though. It's a little bit of a battle between spring and fall, or spring and winter, I should say here. Much milder tomorrow. Cooler Thursday, cold again Friday, and then we start mounting another warm up through the weekend and into the start of next week. So, precipitation, not the story here. Over the next seven days, it's going to be the temperature battle that we'll be talking about. 28 degrees tonight, clear and cold, not as windy. Winds are now out of the south and west, which is a much milder flow for us. And tomorrow, a very, very nice Wednesday, 54 degrees. Remember last week when we got to the mid 50s and everyone was walking around with a big old smile on their face and no jackets? That's going to be tomorrow again. A nice spring like day, a cold morning, but a really nice afternoon. And tomorrow evening, perfect weather for dining al fresco. Now, Thursday is a little colder for sitting outside, but not bad. And notice how much colder it is Friday 37 degrees, 15 degrees colder at dinner time for anyone with a Friday night date plan. So, just briefly spring like for one day, milder air floods in. You can see all the green here. Even Thursday is not bad. But then we start drawing into this cold air from the north and west. You can see our pressure lines are. Isobars here tightly packed. And what that usually means is gusty winds and it kind of filters the cold down from the north. Temperatures much cooler Friday into the weekend and then a big rebound next week as well. So as we start talking about spring like conditions, Let's take a look at our spring countdown because we've got some good stuff coming up. And it's only 12 days now until daylight saving until we set those clocks forward. That means sunset is going to be at 7.06 p.m. in 12 days. It's only 18 days into the, until the official beginning of spring, the vernal equinox. That's when we have equal parts daylight and nighttime, 12 hours of each. 30 days now until the Phil's home opener and 33 days until Easter Sunday. Here's your eyewitness weather seven day forecast. And again, you can see the temperature roller coaster some ups and some downs here, but the ups are going to be quite noticeable next week. So tomorrow is a little taste of it. Gets colder by the end of the week. Friday, we may not make it past the 30s. And while it's a chilly weekend, it is going to be bright and sunny. Then Monday, we're back to 45. Tuesday, 54, maybe even a little warmer. Hmm. And I think there is a good shot by next Wednesday, at least, Yuki. We could what? be in the 60s. Come on now. Which sounds so fantastic. It it's really been a does. Long time. In the it's meantime, the, the big old smile is on standby <laughs> for tomorrow, that's for sure. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. Appreciate it.